It's Oscar time. Sunday night, the Academy Awards. So what do we know about the Oscars? Well, we're about to find out. So joining us is author Tom Santapietro. He has written books about some Oscar-worthy films, including The Way We Were, The Godfather, and The Sound of Music. And he's going to be putting us to the test this morning. All right, Tom, here we go. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. Uh, I will get your predictions in a bit. Okay. But let's get to the trivia, right? Because this is where we're going to shine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to grade you both. Okay. okay. All right. First question. Steven Spielberg nominated this year for the movie The Fablemans. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's won two Oscars as Best Director. Can you name either movie? Uh, They're both yes. about World War II. Schindler's, Schindler's List. List. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Other one? Saving Private Ryan. Very good. Yeah. A. Okay. See, okay. That. Next one. In 1969, there was a tie for Best Actress. One woman, it was her very first movie. The other one holds the record for winning the most Best Actress awards. Oh, well, one of them is, is um, uh, what's her name? The first one was a musical. First one. Oh, oh my gosh. She's still with this big popular singer. Oh my gosh, why, she's, uh, she there's was There's a revival in... on Broadway right now. Well, one of them is Barbara Streisand. That's right, Funny Girl. Right. Okay, and the, and the other, other one? one? Was, uh, the woman who played the mean lady in, in um, but Devil Wears Prada. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hear What's her name? Was her? No, no, was it? She played. Uh, Meryl Streep. Catherine, Catherine Hepburn. Hepburn. Oh. <laughs> Why am I thinking Meryl Streep? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so n <laughs> next question. Which actress holds the record for the most nominations? She's been nominated. There you go. That's Meryl Streep. <laughs> see that wrong answer. Oh, it worked see? perfectly. Okay. Okay, number, number four. Who was the first African American Oscar winner? Oh, I do winner? remember, but I don't know what her name is. Holly Berry. Okay. Uh, before Holly Berry, back 1939. No, this from the, from Gone with the Wind. That's right. But I don't remember. Hattie her name. McDaniel. Hattie McDaniel. Yes, yeah. that was good though. That. You knew it was Gone with the Wind. Because I remember the speech. They used to play it over and over. It was just yeah. like. Oh. Here, all right. My favorite question. This year, two sequels are nominated for Best Picture. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, Avatar and Top Gun. Okay. There's only one sequel that has ever won the award for Best Picture. And you wrote a book about it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, Godfather. The Godfather. That's right. Excellent. Okay. So actually, and that one was the what people would say. Well, it depends on which one's the best one. That one mm. really was the best. Yeah, one. it's great. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. uh, um, okay, three movies. There's only three movies that have ever swept the top awards: picture, oh. director, actor, screenplay. Um, one was in 1934, oh, okay. one was in 1975, one was in 1991. Okay. Can you name any of the three? No. Okay. <laughs> was, one of them, was one of them... Um, Somebody's telling him the no, answer. No, no, no. Was one of them West Side Story? No. No. Okay, well then I'm out. <laughs> okay. Uh, it happened one night. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. Oh, that's a great film. And Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs. Lamb. Lamb. Yeah. Yeah. I knew Swept that was the all? one. Yeah. Gosh, how did yeah. I not remember that? What was that? the last one? Sorry. Uh, okay, here's here's a good one for you. There's only one Oscar winner. Oh, I know who this. Both parents also won Oscars. Um, I'm thinking it was her boss. Liza Minnelli. Very good. And her mom. That's who right. Is why can I not think of her name? Judy Garland. Judy Garland. That's right. Okay. I'm like Wizard of Oz. That's all I can remember. <laughs> okay, you're, you're doing well. Two actors famously turned down the Oscar for Best Actor. I don't know. Okay, they I'll get tell down? you. Turned it down? Yep, turned it down. Dan's like, how, no. Here, how dare they? Here's the two films they turned them down. One was the movie Patton. Mm -hmm. The other was The Godfather. I don't oh, know. Um, you should know. No, uh, well, I, that was I got an answer in my ear. I'll be honest, George Scott. Yeah, and Godfather. Marlon Brando. That's it. Yeah. Okay. That Why? one I knew. I knew. I didn't know George Why, Scott. Why though? Uh, they both. Uh, Marlon Brando turned down the Oscar because of uh, he what he perceived as Hollywood's mistreatment of Native oh, Americans. Yes. That's right. That's uh, right. Yes, right. Yes. Yes. Right? yes. Uh, we'll do one more question, then okay. we want your prediction. All right. Uh, in 2020. Which actor won the Best Actor Award to become the oldest ever Oscar winner? And the hint you get is he won one Oscar previously for Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. Oh, I forgot his name, though. Uh, it's uh, Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> Anthony that's right. Hopkins. All right. Because he won it for The Father. Yes, yes right. that's right. Oh, which yeah. was a great film. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, we're running out of we time. We did pretty good. Yeah. You did very Not well. So bad. I'm, I'm giving you a very high yeah. grade, okay. totally. But we want <laughs> to talk you. about the films that are up yeah. this year. Yeah. 
I mean, the one that everyone's saying is everything everywhere all win wins. it all. I, I what's think, your get? I think it is. Everything yeah. everywhere is going to win Best Picture. I think what's interesting is it's real races for Best Actor and Best Actress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a couple possibilities in each one, and uh, whether Michelle Yao will win uh, for everything or whether Kate Blanchett will win for Tar, that's a real close race. Yeah, and well, I think Michelle won every other yeah. award right. show. Yeah. And it seems like it's her time. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, but that that's an interesting. And one. for best actor, it's between Brandon Fraser yeah. and um, Colin Farrell. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think the. Uh, that's the the key race in Brendan Fraser. It's kind of the comeback story, yes. and the Oscars love a good com juicy comeback story. They do. Yeah. So yeah. Did you have a favorite film? Um, I, I think probably for me it was uh, the Fablemans. Mm -hmm. I'm a big Spielberg fan, yeah. so mm -hmm. I, already I'm going to like that. Everything, yeah. uh, everywhere, all at once. I liked it, but I have to say sometimes I was scratching my head he saying. The same thing. What's yeah. going on here? I know. Yeah. I would have pegged you for Top Gun. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> oh, but I like Top yeah. Gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was yeah a good that's one. a fun movie. But yeah, I, I like. certainly was scratching my head a lot yeah. <laughs> during some of these movies. <laughs> All right. Well, film author Tom Santo Pietro, thanks again for coming in. Thanks very in much. studio. It's great to see you. Yeah, it's yeah. great to see both of you and very, very high marks. Thank for both you. Of you. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Thank you very thanks. much. Uh, happy Oscars weekend. I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> <laughs>